any creative outlet is good for you. So everybody should have one of some sort. Elmer Gunderson is a hands-on guy. He's worked with wood and stone in the past, and with those types of materials, an error can be hard to fix or overcome. So it's no surprise that he began sculpting out of clay a couple of years ago. It's more forgiving. It allows me to make mistakes and I can correct them. With clay, you can add on, take off. When you're carving in stone or wood, once you've made a mistake or taken some material off, you can't put it back on. So this allows me to build a character or a sculpture and then transform that over to the stone or the wood that we're working in. Sculpting with clay has been a constant learning process for Elmer. There is never a day where he doesn't discover something new about his craft. It can be very rewarding um, when it turns out. <laughs> it's always educational, you're always learning, you're never happy with your pieces, you always can do better. So you keep striving to make improvements. Once I think if you feel you can't get any better, it's time to quit, but I'm always learning. The talented sculptor prefers to work with the human form in this artwork, but this type of sculpting does have its challenges. Every face is different. Every face has a roadmap of their life. There's a lot of character in the human face. Not a lot of people do the human form as much as they do animals. So I want to do something different. And it isn't just the physical features of a person that become difficult to sculpt. If you're trying to do uh, lightness in a person and bring out their, all their uh, character in them, that is very challenging. Because everybody has that little thing about them that makes them unique. And to put that into a still form is very difficult. Elmer hopes his fans and anyone viewing his artwork can appreciate the beauty each piece beholds. Something that brings enjoyment to them. That makes me feel good that they like it so much that they want to take it home and own it. To view Elmer's artwork, you can visit his website, elmergunderson.com. For Go Prince George, I'm Casey Pitts.